A website without the right content is useless regardless of how well it's designed. A social media post is pointless if nobody cares about what you're saying. In this video, we are discussing how you can create better content that converts. Hey business owners, I'm Brad Ball, your host for the Grind and Grow Marketing Show. And today we are talking about creating better content that converts. And we're gonna start with content pillars. Basically, content pillars are content categories. What this is gonna allow for you to do is once you create these content pillars, it's going to define the topics and the things that you should be talking about. The benefit of doing this is it makes it easier for you to figure out what content you should be talking about for one. And when you go to write content, you can just pull from these content pillars and you know that all of this content that you are going to create is something that your audience would want to hear about, right? So it's really taking four, I would say about four different types of categories in your industry that people want to hear about people your audience would want to know right so it's that content that's going to drive people to you so going through this and creating these silos of okay if i talk about you know our you know patient results or um, our client results or if it's some educational content on how to do x y and z so creating these different categories it's pillar content so go in through your your content and, and come up with these ideas and write them down. So you have that. The next thing is to understand where your customer at is in their buyer journey. So there's typically three stages in this buyer journey, the awareness stage, the consideration stage, and the decision stage. And there actually are some more stages, but to make it easy, it's you just we'll just stick with these three. So the awareness stage is someone who is, you know, maybe not aware or just becoming aware of the solution or even the problem that they have and the solution that is offered. The consideration stage is okay, they they are familiar with the problem. Now they're looking at other ways to, you know, what should they consider upon like solving this problem. So they're looking at you and your competition. And then the decision phase is they're really deciding on whether they should hire you or someone else. So the reason why you want to know this is different content would apply to different people. So if we're in the awareness stage, the content we would want to, to consume would be problem aware content. Like, you know, if you are selling a, actually I've seen this recently, a device to help release your psoas muscle, which is you know, a lot of people don't even know that they have a psoas muscle and why they should care because it causes hip issues. So to solve it, you need to release the muscle. To release the muscle, it's really hard to get to. There's this device. So that's problem aware content. Like I need to know that I, the problem that my tight psoas is causing and how this device is going to fix it. Well, now that I know that I have this tight psoas problem, then what other problems is it causing? Now, this is the the education and maybe the consideration, like what other things are out there to help solve this problem and why should I pay for yours? And then now the decision phase is, OK, I definitely know I have this problem. I've researched it and now I'm going to buy yours possibly. And now I'm deciding so in the consideration and decision phase, I'm going to want educational content to understand more of what I need to consider. And then also some kind of what we call behind the curtains content. So some testimonials. So some of that um, other content, and we'll jump into all of these different, these different content types. So the first one is educational content. So the benefit of creating educational content is it positions you as the leader and helps build credibility. So educational content would be, you know, how to do X, Y, and Z. You know, this is something we actually create a lot of. Um, and so it's, and it's really good. It's probably the easiest content to create because we all naturally know what we're good at in our professions and we can teach it, right? So we love to talk about that. Um, that's educational content. Um, problem aware content or agitation content is really poking at the problem. 
bringing the problem to awareness, right? This is kind of like what's grabbing their attention, like, oh, what is this problem? Or, you know, oh, what is the solution to the problem that I am I'm having? Like you're you're kind of like tugging at my emotions to to get out, you know, oh, okay, I need to see more about what solution you're providing. Okay. And then there is also this thing where it creates this connection, right? So when you talk about the problem and you identify the problem and you speak their language of how they're feeling and you're agitating that issue, you kind of create this element where you, you know, where you understand them, right? You are just like, like them, like, oh yeah, they get me. So that's kind of problem aware agitation content. Um, and then there's the behind the curtain content. So this is like behind the scenes, the testimonials, the day in the life, all of this type of content where it's kind of more, more personable and it creates this likability, right? This connection because people want to work with people, not, you know, companies and robots and whatnot, right? So it creates this connection, that personal connection. Um, it's kind of like, when you followed someone on social and you finally meet that person for the first time and it feels like you know them, but you've actually never met them. Well, that's transparency content. That's that connection. So the, these are the three different types of content that you should be creating in your business to create more conversions, right? So it's educational content, it's problem aware or agitation content, and it's behind the scenes or behind the curtains content, right? Transparency content. So those are the three pieces that you really should be focusing on if you're not creating those already. And hey, if you are a listener to this podcast, I would like to invite you to our private Facebook group. It's filled with other motivated business owners just like you. And it's a place for us to connect one-on-one -on -one outside of these podcast episodes. Um, I'll put a link to it in the show notes and I hope to see you there and we'll see you in the next episode.